Looks like we had a little bit of rain, but not much. Something like that. Something like that. Just enough to keep that damp. Oh well. We'll get her done today. Well, the digging done. Right. I think the rain got us in too much trouble um, it wasn't heavy enough to wet things down under the trees or anything I am headed to the environmental park and then I'm gonna park Ruby so that when mobile service comes to fix her door um, they'll be able to get to her well there's five cars here today besides Ruby it's 73 out there. It's a little bit of a breeze. It's cloudy. It's, uh, you know, a nice day if you need to be doing something outside. It's not too humid. It's not too hot. Sun's not going to burn you. Our favorite mobile service guy is here. Hey. Right. Hey. Yeah, social distancing and everything here. So that's what the actuator looks like. And, um, I'm going to paraphrase Rick just said it may just be the actuator and he's going to investigate before he just replaces all the parts. That's right. Yeah. Now that whole thing there is the latch mm -hmm. kit. Correct. Okay. Which cable runs to the handle inside, the interior handle, the little green one there? So the long one is the one that goes to the door panel. Goes and up to the door interior, handle. Uh, interior. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And then once the emergency... Uh, or something? mechanical versus... Oh, that's the actuator goes there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's the deal. Alright, so we're hoping it's not that. I trust Rick perfectly. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And that looks like it's the controller. Yeah. It's only one clip. Ooh. They call those like oh, Christmas trees or something like that. So, so now that the panel's off, you can see the actuator, and then you can see the rest of that um, that kit. You're right here. This green thing is where the cable uh, holds the cable to the, I guess this uh, door panel here, and uh, the little actuator pulls the end of the cable. And that's what does the unlatch. So I'm gonna. This is the old one, so we're gonna see if we can watch it fail. Oh, it did it twice. Did it twice. So it did it once, and then again. It's All natural. Right, here we go. Oh, it just pulled one time, and it hadn't done anything. Try it again. All right, let off. Yeah. 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 It's having trouble. So our X is new enough that replacing the actuator is pretty much a plug-and-play proposition. Some of the older ones, Rick was saying, they have to do a retrofit. Wow. Way cool. Yeah, I love it. Sounds good. You can audibly hear a difference, you know? Well, he pushed that door panel back in there, no problem. He got out to check out the hawks, another wildlife enthusiast. Don and I are doing a lot of math. <laughs> Why? It's going to make it turn out great. We hope. Yeah. It um, started spitting on us out here just a little bit. It, it feels great. It's refreshing. The bugs aren't biting. Um, the tree canopy's keeping most of the drizzle from hitting my camera equipment down there. 
and um, we're working on assembling the frame so we can get it in place and do some additional leveling but it's getting late in the day so eh, we get done what we get done it started raining so much i had to bring my camera up early uh, i'm not okay. happy about it yeah well. yeah well we got us a place to work here in the garage so right. yeah. that's good yeah so just to make sure you guys understood today, um, mobile service only needed to replace the actuator. Um, they did not need to replace the latch kit. And the actuator is a $12 part. So it ended up costing us significantly less from the original 198 quote. So that was, was good. 52. Um, Don and I finished putting the frame together, but we didn't have time to set it in the ground. It was going on 630. It was raining out there. Um, we're expecting a lot of rain this week in the Raleigh area, not as much as the North Carolina mountains, uh, which could get five to nine inches, but I think we're in the four to five by Friday. Um, hopefully we can get the frame laid in the ground and a few of the boards put on tomorrow. Uh, we don't have to finish putting all the boards on. We could probably do that in between the raindrops as the week goes on, but getting the frame leveled, the ground not being muddy, that would be, that would be, that would be good if it works out that way. Uh, I will be going to Whole Foods tomorrow, but I'm trying, it's been three weeks, but I'm trying to decide what time of day. Um, Johnny's yearbook's ready to be picked up at the school. Um, they're having a drive through only, come pick it up at certain times depending on your grade. And um, so I may do that, it's from 9 to 11 tomorrow, it's Johnny's designated time unless we ask to go at a different time. And um, so I may do Whole Foods after the school pickup, or I might decide, depending on when the rain's coming in, to try to do the pickup at the school another day. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. <laughs> gonna play that one by ear also. Uh, Ruby put on 2020.16.2. I asked uh, the mobile guy, Rick, if he had pushed out an update to Ruby, and he did not. It just worked out that way. And, um, it uh, didn't have anything big for us. I'm not sure about Autopilot 2.5 or 3.0 um, hardware, but it did improve the complexity, the number of variations to the backgammon game. So I have not tried the backgammon game yet. I need to refresh my memory on how to play backgammon, but um, at any point she did get an update, which also included bug fixes today. I was in the garage practicing Moonlight Sonata. It's... um. You know, it's a harder piece. It was my third year recital, so I don't know. I'm trying to memorize it. It's it's challenging, and um, Don and I got a tarp on our project area. Maybe that will help keep it from getting too muddy before we can lay down the frame. Hi, Mittens. Hi.